Hey everybody, Edo here, and this is Roots of Molly. This is live on Kickstarter now, published by Suncore Games, and designed by Bujar Hazkaj and Adrian Bola. It's actually uh, a, sequel, a sequel expansion to Light of Dragons, which was also on Kickstarter, I believe, and they come in these um, oversized boxes, but the final product quality is great. Um, with nice bags and things like that, but the, this is still the prototype version of Roots of Molly, and in essence, this is a head-to-head, two-player abstract strategy game, right? And um, this one is a little, um, it's got a, a chess-like feel in that it's a little slow movement and motion in terms of how you advance, but there's a lot of depth and interesting things that happen with the dice. Uh, basically, each player is going to be able to deploy a set of 10, uh, 10 value dice to each side to start the game. The dice are D6s, and each um, face has a number, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, like you might on a D6. And so when you're putting it out, you can put out whatever you want, but they, it needs to total up 6. So 1, 1, 6 um, is 8, plus 2. That's 10, right? Whereas this player might go 3, 3, uh, and where's a four? Let me make a four, right? So you get to have that initial deployment, and then in essence, uh, the way the game works is you can move up one or uh, horizontal. Uh, the board, you know, obviously would be eight, uh, oriented towards uh, the players, but you are going to uh, be able to move horizontally or vertically uh, to move and to attack, unless a, a die has a special rule. Uh, the other things you can use is use abilities on your turn or increment your die upwards. So you can always level up your, your creatures. Higher numbers defeat lower numbers, six, five, four, three, two, one, but also threes defeat sixes. And then um, that's really the core of it. When you kill something, you get that many victory points. Games usually to 10. Um, and when you kill something on the back uh, towards their home, you get bonuses. So if, I, if, if, if you kill something um, towards the green side, if you, if you, if you, defeat on that end, you're going to get bonus points as black. So you're trying to push towards their end. Also, the six um, creature, if you get to the end, they're worth each round, they give you a bonus point. So um, you're basically trying to push forward, kill things, uh, <laughs> and win victory points. The instructions are fantastic. The art is fantastic. From a gameplay perspective, I, I found it really interesting. interesting. I've played it a number of times. Uh, each game felt different. You know, uh, Light of Dragons had its own set of dynamics with the dice. This game has a totally different set with the D6s, so it's it's like a, a different army type. Um, in addition, you can play versus the old dice. So it's got this cool thing with the original game, but they just all work differently. The little um, uh, level 1 plants are able to split into more plants. The level 2 ones are able to jump and collect, um, uh, jump over one or two spots so they can move fast and they can drop. If you don't move too fast, you can drop a little plant. So there's this growing expansion feel. The three um, is able to jump over things as well as kill sixes. Um, the, let's see, the four lets you, you, you can bank, um, based on the number of them, you can bank magic points to let you sort of fast grow different creatures instead of just one incrementing, some jumping a two to a four, for example. And you can also, um, uh, create, you can, you can, you can roll, you can roll over the, uh, the little flowers as well. So he's sort of the magic grower character. Uh, five are just these shadow guys that can, um, go through the side of the board and sixes have that victory point at the end. So they all have little dynamics. I mean, I, I blazed through that. There's probably a couple more in there in terms of an ability or a dynamic, but it's fun, it's a thinker, it's a little slow in terms of movement. You need, you know, it's one of those games where you want all players to sort of have a clip to what they're doing and being focused because it will take a long time if people are, aren't, aren't sort of paying deep attention. But I think it works. I think it's fun. I think it's a good thinker. It reminds me of, of really fun dynamics and queen chasing and king chasing on, in chess. And, you know, you, there's lots of different ways to, to get out of a check or out of that last kill. Um, and I found it interesting and compelling. So certainly... Check it out. If you played the first game, I think, and loved it, I think you're going to love this. Uh, and if, if you haven't played either, I'm sure you can learn more in, on the Kickstarter. So subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Most importantly, play some great games. Thanks.